is just leaving. It's your boy D. I'm All right, you know what I'm saying? What's up, what's up, y'all? Uh, this is the Home Room Food Podcast. Uh, better better late than ever. Um, but no, but real talk though. Um, the, t- the name of today's episode is Wild Stories. All right, Wild Stories. So, is it just me or is everything in the world just wild? Like, just, just completely wild. So, let me, um, let me preface, let me preface this by saying this though, right? So I'm going to start off with some wild stories around the world, some things that I haven't gotten up, gotten around to covering, but I do want to cover because it's important. Um, so we're going to go through those stories because the, the world is kind of crazy. Then I'm going to give a couple personal personal stories that are pretty wild. And uh, yeah, we're going to call it a day. So, <clears throat> oh my God, I need to take my medicine. I need water. Um, but anyway... Uh, because if you don't know, the reason why I burp so much, I have acid reflux, so I have to take these bad boys every day. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, I've, I've been like, I, I've been struggling with that since this podcast started, and from a lot of my life, actually, and it's crazy. Like, I, I just got diagnosed and given these recently. Um, but anyway, and so I mean, that's one wild thing. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so look. Hearts out to the people in Syria and Turkey. Um, that earthquake is it, was wild. Like over thirty six thousand people are dead, um, and they're still finding more bodies. They're still finding more survivors. That's just the number of people dead. That's not counting the number of people displaced. That's not counting the number of people injured. That's not counting the um the losses of like livestock and all that other things. Like it's, that's not, it's just 36,000 people, 36,000 people just gone, gone. I I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine living in a city and not only that city being devastated, like somewhere I know being devastated, but also knowing that that many people are gone. Like even the people that you have a casual, like high and by relationship with or, you know what I'm saying? You casually see around your neighborhood. Like, could you imagine, like, out of the out of the 12 people you see around the neighborhood, like six of them, like, no, I wouldn't say that. I would say it's more like it's more like three. It's more like three, three, three or four. Three or four of them are just completely gone. And the other ones are badly injured. Um, but with that said, praying for them. Um, and I do commend. I don't remember whether it was Syria's government or Turkey's government for admitting that, yo, we messed up. This is a failure. We thought we were ready, but we weren't ready. Um, they they were like, we thought we were ready. We weren't ready. And we, we, we really failed the people. And they admitted to it. And they, they apologized to the people. They said they should have been more prepared. Um, next, uh, the next story um, is the unidentified aerial phenomenons okay that is the correct term for them unidentified aerial phenomenon but you may know them as unidentified flying objects that's been flying over america and a lot of people are saying oh well why are we just not seeing them actually actually fun fact when the faa when the system went down right when the system went down and it came back up right they didn't turn the filters back on Okay, because for the longest time they've been filtering out things so they could just focus on airplanes and air to air collisions and different things like that. Well, once they took the filters off, they just started finding stuff like for the north. It's the NORAD. It's North 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 Operational something airspace. No, that's not what it's. It's not NORAD because NORAD that's the that's the that's the coalition between us and China and us and Canada and something else, I think, and Mexico. So I don't think it's that. I think, I think it, I think it truly is. Uh, I think it, it, it goes by another name anyway, FAA, right? When they turned it back on without the filters. Okay. They turned it back on without the filters. They start finding stuff. Okay. And they start finding stuff. And at first they weren't telling us anything. They were just handling it. Things were just being handled. And then 
they couldn't avoid the spy balloon. It was too big. It was too big. It looked like the thing out of us. No, it looked like the thing out of Nope, not us. Oh my God, I'm confused. The movie. Nope, it looked like the thing out of Nope. It's just up there floating, and people are like, "What the heck is that?" You know what I'm saying? And once it gets on social media, you know, it's over with. It's over with. Now you have to respond. And once it was exposed on social media, then China responded and said, "Oh, it's a weather balloon." But that was that was way too late. Like. It wasn't a weather balloon. If it was a weather balloon, you would have let us know. It had to fly over the Atlantic for five days. You would have let us know something if it was really a weather balloon. Like, hey, we have a weather balloon. It's gone rogue. It's heading your way. Uh, d- no, don't be alarmed. Oh, okay, cool. Then everybody knows it's a weather balloon. But even then, it, it it had way too much going on to be a weather balloon. Way too much going on. It was the size of two buses. Okay, two buses. Have you ever seen a bus, the city bus? Okay, now put two of them, put two or three of them together. And it's just floating in the air. That's crazy. Um, anyway, go either way it goes, it, it was um, you know, it had propulsion systems and radar capabilities and all that. Um, so of course, uh, because it was so big, we waited for a while and we shot it down. And then there was another one over Alaska, got shot down. And then another one over Canada, it got shot down. Um, and like her on, then it was another one too. There, there, it was four, four objects. Okay. Four objects. Like who, what, and where are they from? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know where they're from. We don't know who's, who's putting them up in the air. We don't know. We don't know, but we do know that we are now tracking these things and we're now seeing these things on a regular basis okay regular basis which means this has probably been going on for a long time it's just nobody's been paying attention i i I would dare to say it happened during COVID when everybody was inside and everybody was more worried about a um catching catching a disease um but that's just me that's just me being big brain big brain theory um in any way um, so there, there's a gift and a curse in the FFA, FAA system going down. Uh, the next thing is, um, yeah, I talked about the unidentified flying objects. Ah, these oil spills. There we go. The oil spills. Um, a railway infrastructure needs needs to be upgraded. That's one. It does. It needs to be. It needs to be absolutely upgraded. Two. Um, they need to roll back to the Obama era because Trump deregulated the safety guidelines that Obama put in place in 2016. Um, we need to get back to those, back to that era. Okay. We need to get back to those safeguards. Um, and why, and why do I say we need to get back to those, um, back to those safeguards? Because electronic brakes would help tremendously. Excuse me in these situations, but they don't have electronic brakes. They have like these gas brakes. Um, and in and, and having these gas brakes, they don't even really, uh, what am I thinking about right now? Um, yeah, they don't, they, they take forever to stop. You know what I'm saying? The electronic brakes, they respond more quickly and they stop a bit. They stop significantly faster. Like it's, it's a crazy amount of faster, but the, the, uh, the trains, um, the train, the unions, well, the train companies, they lobbied the government um, to not put the electronic brakes into place because it it was to them cheaper to not spend the money on the electronic brakes and give $10 billion in dividends to their shareholders than it was to prevent these castro- catastrophes, okay? Um, and I believe I believe they need to pay every dime Every dime of that dividend needs to go to helping people um, recover their belongings and um, and help recover the environment that the, in which these people live. Okay, that ten billion in dividends, kiss it goodbye. It needs to go to the regular people. It needs to go support the people that your lobbying and your neglect has hurt. That's that's what really needs to happen. That's that's what that's how I feel. That's how I feel. That's what I'm thinking. Um, you know, trying, trying not to like overdo this story and like keep it brief. 
Um, but yeah, and and we had back to back. You had Ohio, you had uh something in Texas, and then you had something was that California? I don't I don't know. I don't know, but we we've had three. We've had three like big deal train uh incidents, three. Um and that's crazy. And that before I get to another note, um, please watch this. Hey, if you're someone that craves vibes when it comes to music, like I do, you need to check out Rose Petals. Rose Petals is a 12 track R&B album by yours truly, Bear Michelle, and it just dropped. It's available right now on all major digital outlets. I'm personally inviting you to come and vibe with me through music. Let me know what you think. Shout out to the home team with Kosher Sound. And you already know we're supporting and watching Homeroom with Smooth. Let's go. Oh my God. Okay. I almost got all the lotion in my face. Uh man, y'all make sure y'all uh y'all make sure y'all go tap in with her, okay? Y'all make sure y'all go tap in with her, go tap into a project. Um, her link is in the description. It's always in the description. Um, just like uh the next person um just coming subsequent subsequently later, uh Megan. Um, links are always in the description. Uh, but but to move a bit forward, um more unfortunate stuff we've had mass shooting after mass shooting so there was a mass shooting at a mall in el paso i believe uh there was a mass shooting at michigan state university and then there was another mass shooting somewhere else and i'm not even surprised anymore i don't even know if i call it a wild story because this is the normal this is normal for america this is what we do this is who we are like America is so quick to be like, this is not who we are. This is who we are. Uh, the dude who went through the, the committed the mass shooting in New York, which is crazy, uh, killing just black people, uh, was sentenced to life without parole. Personally, look, y'all can say whatever y'all want to about me when I say this. Personally, I was cool with them just dropping him dead right there in the in the courtroom, like. Spending the tax dollars on someone we know is a monster is ridiculous. We're not we're not even rehabilitating him. He has life without parole. He's never getting out. Just kill him. Just kill him and we can move on. Just kill him and we all can move on. We all know he did it. He was on candid camera. He was in 4K. Just end it. Just end it. Whether we drop him in a hole, whether we drop him out of a plane to his death, whether we shoot him, or we throw him in lava, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Stick rocks to him and drop him to the bottom of the bottom of the Atlantic. Like, I don't care. But people like that, they what are we paying for? What are we keeping these monsters around for? Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Because what what is he gonna do? Appeal? What is he gonna appeal? He there's no grounds for him to appeal. You were in 4K, and these are the only people I'm talking about getting rid of. If you're caught in 4K, 4K, like we got you red-handed on video committing the act. I don't care what your reason was for doing it. Let's just let's just get rid of you. Let's get rid of you, get you up out of here, and let's move on with our lives. But anyway, I got one more message for y'all before I get into my personal story. What's up, guys? My name is Megan, and I help people move to China. If you like free health care, free transportation, and a free place to stay, and also traveling abroad, hit me up. My name is Megan, and I'm rocking with Home Room with Smooth. That's right. Check out Megan. Uh, her link is in the description below right down there and while, and while we're here you know what i'm saying if you made it this far into the video subscribe like leave a comment you know what i'm saying help me help me grow okay help me grow all right we're at 1300 some subscribers you know what i'm saying shout out to everybody that subscribed thus far i appreciate y'all um but anyway so some <coughs> some person oh my god 
some personal wild stories. All right. So personal story number one. Um, so I was, I was in college when this happened. Okay. When I was, I was in college when this happened and, uh, I went, am I telling? Yeah, I'm gonna tell this story. So I went to a, um, complete tone shift here. Um, I, I was, I was in college. Uh, I was trying to go to this kickback, uh, that my homie EG threw. Um, but I got there too late and he was like, the police came, the kickback's over. I'm like, oh, okay, damn. I was like, all right. So I, I get up, I leave. You know what I'm saying? I leave. Uh, I'm not getting up. Like I, I, I'm at the door. So I go downstairs and I'm, I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? This is in, this is in Bears, Bears Den. Okay. For the, for the UCA folks. It's in Bears Den. So I'm in Bears Den and I'm walking and I'm like, damn, like, I wonder what I can do. Like, I was like, oh Yeah. So and so, uh, Shadi told me I could hit her up, and you know, what I'm saying to let me know what the move was with her and her homies. I'm like, cool. Hello, bring, bring, bring. She doesn't answer. Her friend answers, and she's like, "Oh yeah, hey, we're embarrassed in right now. Come over to so and so, so and so." I was like, "I'm like, oh okay." I'm like, "What's number?" I'm like, "All right, I'm outside right now. I'll, I'll be over there." And mind you, I got a cup with me. This is when I was bad, okay? I would mix up Coke and uh, Coke and liquor in a come and go, in a big come and go cup, all right? Because come and go got the big cup for a dollar. Y'all, everybody, y'all know what I'm talking about. They had the super big cup for a dollar. I mix it up with the Coke and the ice and all that. Um, and I throw me some crown in there. And I was drinking it, like, and I had a whole lot. Like the whole 64 ounce, I'd say about half was liquor. And um, I would, I wasn't driving, I wasn't drinking and driving. But once, once I, once I got to my destination, I would start sipping my drink. I wouldn't drink and drive because I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't wild like that. I wasn't that out of there, but I had my cup ready so I could take it with me where I was going. And that, that was pretty much me. I always brought my own drink. Like I didn't like, one, you never know what people have. And a lot of people were having like vodka and shit. And I wouldn't like vodka, rum, uh, what else is there? Gin, like I don't drink none of them. And a lot of people did. I was like, man, y'all are sick. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are sick, you know. But uh I was a brown and tequila guy. That that was me. That's where I was at. Uh but anyway, 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 anyway. anyway. So um well, actually, I was a vodka guy because I was drinking. New, I would drink New Amsterdam a lot too. I take that back. I would drink New Amsterdam a lot and something else. But I stopped and I just went straight to brown and I just stayed on brown till I started drinking tequila later. But anyway, 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 doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Y'all don't care about that. Um, so I get there. I get to the crib. Now it's just a normal kickback. Walk in there. I see some of the homies that I knew. I was like, oh. What's up, dude? The homegirl that I called, she sleep on the couch, right? She sleep on the couch. She's knocked the fuck out. Like, and I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, she over there sleep. Yeah, she been knocked out this whole time. I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, and then so we chilling in there, everybody drinking, you know what I'm saying? Then people get to getting like, they start like, like, so there's two girls, they're they're lesbians, and they're they're into each other and they start kissing, you know what I'm saying? And basically. The other dudes, you know, and and I I help too. I help too. I I I I push for this, like, you know, what I'm saying we're trying to get them to like get naked and have sex with each other. You know, what I'm saying like touch on each other and all that. Well, you know, what I'm saying they got to kissing each other, making out, sucking on each other's titties and shit. Then next thing I know, they was fucking on the floor. I didn't. I never knew how lesbians had sex. So this was educational to me. Like I sat down on a stool and I just sat back and I just watched. I was like. I'm I'm curious. Like, I'm curious. How does this work? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching them. I'm watching them grind and bump coochies and shit. And one nigga gets, I, you know, no, a, a couple of them. Two, two, no, three of, three of them got out of, way out of pocket. They pulled their dick out and got the jacket off right there. Like, I'm like, yo, what the? So I'm, I'm looking away. I'm looking at this other girl. I'm looking at the the home girl that answered the phone and she's like, yo, these niggas are wild. And I'm like, I'm like, man, you ain't lying. She's like, she's like, shoot. Um, 
but uh <laughs> oh my god I, I fast forwarded in the story in my head um but anyway uh, I'm, I'm gonna omit, I'm gonna omit what she said back to me in that moment. She said something else to me too. I'm gonna omit it. I'm gonna omit it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna omit it. I'm gonna omit it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna omit it. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, um, oh man, yeah, I'm gonna omit that too. So, so look, so look, so look, they, they fuck, they fucking right. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, like, and then the other dudes, they over there, they like, they touching on them too. They feeling on them too, but they not letting them like get in there and fuck. Like they just fucking each other, and so they get done. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, she makes a, she makes a comment, and then um, the other one, she's like, she's like, hey, Byron, stay whoop whoop whoop, because she was trying to come back out for me. She was gonna come back out, and me and her was going, you know, we gonna do something because I I played it cool. I played it cool, and I, that's that's how I always played it. I always played it cool. I always played it cool. Um, but that's just that's just how I moved, man. That's how I moved. People people don't realize like I got into so many situations just by being the cool dude. Uh but anyway, anyway, so she's in there with the other girl that's her girlfriend, and but she's coming back out to me. But before she gets a chance to come out, my homegirl wakes up. My homegirl wakes up, she's like, and she's like He's like, hey, Byron, whoop de whoop de whoop. I'm so glad to see you. Mwah. I was like, wait. I it, like it threw me off. It threw me off, but her lips were so soft. I just kept kissing her, like, <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? I know who I am. Um, I, I was bad. I was so terrible back then. Uh I think I was, I think I was talking to somebody then too. I don't care. I was terrible. I was terrible back then. Um, because I was just I was just doing whatever made me feel good. Um, not whatever, not anything, not anything, but, um, yeah, yeah, I was, I was on them. So anyway, um, needless to say, me and old girl, um, you know what I'm saying? We're making out on the couch now, me and her making out on the couch. And so the other girl comes back out and she sees it and then she's like, oh, okay. She's like, you know what I'm saying? I guess I waited too long. I tried to talk, I tried to talk to her later, but it, it didn't quite go the same. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's what it is. She's still she's still super cute to this day. Um, but anyway, uh, so me and her get up and um we go we go to the back. We go to the back. Um, and um, you know, uh I go I go put her in the back because basically like she's drunk. You know, so she's drunk, I'm drunk, but I'm less drunk. So I'm like, I go put her in the bed. Um, so after I go put her in the bed, I, um, you know what I'm saying? I go to the bathroom. And then as I'm in the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm washing my hands. She comes in the bathroom to like use the bathroom. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I go back out. I go back out. And then she was like, then the, her homegirl, because it's her homegirl's room that we're in. We're in the back of the bears in uh two bedroom. And she's like, Hey, she's like, hey, I got somebody coming over. Can can you go in the bathroom? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, what? She's like, Yeah, just go in the bathroom. I'm like, all right, cool. So I go in the bathroom. Some dude runs up in there, up in there, all you hear is <laughs> okay, <laughs> me you know, and I'm just like, dang, I'm like, dang, and I'm just in there with the home. I'm in there with the with the homie, you know what I'm saying, with the homie, and like, shit, we got shit, we got the kissing too, you know what I'm saying. But um, she she was legitimately um, she was on her period though, so I was just like, fuck, so we couldn't we couldn't do nothing, we couldn't really do nothing. Um, so after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she stayed. She stayed in the bathroom a bit longer. Did I get this out of order? Yeah, yeah. I I did get it out of order. I did get it a little out of order, but it's okay. But it's okay. Still same gist. And so I come, I come out of the bathroom. Right, I come out of the bathroom. I'm chilling. And obviously, old girl is. She's not in the room anymore because she's walked the other guy out. Right, she walked the other guy out. This is where it gets wild. She comes back to me and she's like, she's like, shoot, she's like, shoot. Um, 
so and so she really like you you know what i'm saying if you if you asked her if you asked her to you know what i'm saying she'll she'll she'll, uh, she'll slap you up i was like what she's like yeah and i'm like okay <laughs> i was like okay um so i go back in the bathroom where i left her and you know what i'm saying she's she's still in there um and uh and you know what i'm saying like we t- you know what i'm saying we kissed but we were like talking a bit and i was like shit and then what i think i said i think i said something like i'm like shit you trying to i think yeah i think that's what i said i said you trying to suck my dick like like that's what i said <laughs> and she was like yeah and threw me off threw me off <laughs> threw me off threw me all the way off i was like oh okay uh didn't know that 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 this was gonna how it's gonna go so yeah so anyway while while that's happening i kid you not a totally different nigga because i heard this nigga's voice i knew who this nigga was the first nigga i didn't even hear his voice he just came in and got business done and left i didn't even hear that nigga the the other dude buddy came in there buddy came in there with it he came in there with it and he was just Yeah, like, but I knew who the dude was, and I'm like, is that? I'm like, man, he don't, he don't even know who in here, bro. He don't even know who in here. He he don't even he don't even know who in here. Like that's that's me in the bathroom. Um, so yeah, like after after all that said and done, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, me and her, we come out of there. Obviously, the room smelled like who did it and what fault because she didn't got fucked. She done got fucked twice by two different dudes. Um, that's man, don't trust no girl, bro. I, I and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know if them dudes even use condoms, bro. Um, but anyway, yeah, anyway, uh, needless to say, we, we get in the bed, we go to bed, we wake up, right? We wake up, you know what I'm saying. I'm sleep, you know what I'm saying? Twin bed, twin, twin or full bed. I think it's a full size bed, whatever. <laughs> it's small. It's small. So I'm chilling there. I got her, you know what I'm saying? She sleep. She sleep on my chest or whatever. I wake up and um and and like she's kind of like she's up with like she like she like wakes up too. Like as I'm like when I wake up, she wakes up too. And like she's looking at me, I'm looking at her. And then she's like, you know what I'm saying? Then like she starts rubbing on my dick again, like because obviously it's super hard. Cause I, I'm trying to, I gotta go to, like I gotta pee, like I really gotta go pee. But then she starts, you know what I'm saying, slobbing me up again. And I'm like, yo, I gotta pee, <laughs> you know. Um, but needless to say, uh, yeah, that's 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 one wild college story there. I'm gonna come back with some more wild personal stories, like cause that's the end of the story. I end up leaving. Um, I run into the girl that did all of that that night. She looked at me like and smiled a bit, but also had like a bit of shame at the same time. And I, I there was no reason for her to be shamed. Like, was what it was. You know, it was cool. It happened when it happened. You know, hey, hey, it is what it is. But y'all, let me know what y'all think of it. That. Of those these wild stories today um i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and like run this back um again with some more stories um but that's that's just one i feel comfortable telling um there's some more uh but i have to i have to formulate my words cor- uh a bit more carefully because some people some people are married now like there's 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 married individuals now and I, like the the story is cool, but at the same time, like it it and it's old, but at the same time, I don't want to shoot up nobody's spot. Like I, I don't want to I don't want to cause no problems, no friction. Um, but needless to say, uh, y'all have a good one. This has been the Home Rules Move Podcast, episode number one ninety five, Wild Stories, and um, I'll be back with some more.